Pule now, teasing the defence. Machera gets the ball across. Wonderful goal. Langerman with a cross just behind Villacazi. Chance for Serino. There's a quick answer. Straight back in the game. Mamaloni Sundowns equalise. Very big, powerful team. Plays to its strength, but we got the right results. 1 1 for the return leg. The second goal, they caught us on the blind side, they played a diagonal ball. We were a bit short on the one side and that's where they killed us with the second goal. For me as a coach, it was so important to win that match because you need to turn the team around, you need them to get back. It's been a good month for the team. The only disappointment was getting eliminated from the MD8. It's a cup that's been eluding the club for quite some time now. And then you're only as good as your last match. And this week we'll be facing the Kev's Champions League second leg with Otto and let's see how it goes. Yeah, the next month we've got Kelsey Chiefs also inside. The, I'm not saying the other teams are not important. It's not easy we're going away to play Lepers. We've got to fight for our points. Other teams are doing very well on the lock as we speak. Chiefs is top of the lock. Of course, they've got more games played than us, but games in hand is not games won. We must win, then we can be on top of them. So we need to fight more. The man can give us 13 points. If we can get 13 and 15, we'll do well. Bueno, estoy muy contento de haber empezado la, la temporada con Sundowns. Este, al principio me costó un poco adaptarme porque, bueno, llegué y tu, lamentablemente tuve una lesión. Este, pero bueno, después me, me pude poner en óptimas condiciones, me pude recuperar bien y, y bueno, ya me pude poner a la, a la orden del equipo y bueno, por suerte... You got to understand that the game of Super Sports United had a big dent on us emotionally, even now. It's a game that you don't want to lose. You should not have lost it. So especially, we had an advantage in the first leg. It's just a deep scar that will take time to heal. What was important with Maris back is to come back. It was a game of results, and we got the results. Get the players' confidence, get the team going, get the supporters believing in you. And then Seychelles, a game that we knew that it would be a one-sided game in terms of ball possession and dominance, because the team is not very strong. I mean, the players are semi-professional, we should accept that. But the minute that you play in the Champions League, it doesn't give us a reason that we should feel sorry for you and you're semi-professional. You are there for your history and your archives. It was a team that was sitting back most of the time. So now you have to find ways how to break the team that's sitting at the back with five defenders, four midfielders and one striker. When you played them in the first league, it was very difficult. We scored one goal in the first half, but then in the second half, we were able to figure out plans how we were able to break them down, and that's where we find ourselves scoring for goals. Most of the opponents that we face sometimes sit deep in their half. We have to figure a way out of how to crack them. It's definitely a confidence booster going into the game against a team from Seychelles. It's one that we want to win and obviously we got the advantage with the 5-0 win that we got there away from home. But irrespective of the result, that's said we're not going to relax. It's football, anything can happen and also it's something for us where we can practice our principles. When it works, we'll obviously score and it will work in the team's favour in any way. So we want to win it and we want to qualify convincingly too. What we want to get out of the second leg first is to show respect to our people that we are taking the game serious. Two is to make sure that score as many goals as you can. Three, how do you play with a team that doesn't have so much resistance? So you could punish them, you could score the goals because it's not about only ball possession. Before we even started the game, everybody had something to say. Let's press them, let's get the goal. You could sense the mood. They wanted to show not only the coach, but also their families at home that I can still do the job for Sundowns. I'm still here. And that's the way it should be. No matter who plays on the day or who's captain, the team that goes on the pitch must always give the 120% and obviously ask the, the right questions. And I think the guys who play, they really show the energy. And that's important, no matter where you play, the willingness to win and to score goals must always be there.
I was very happy because I managed to play my first game this season. For us, it was a big game. We knew that the, the team that side they didn't have nothing to lose. At the same time, we wanted to win so that we can put the team to the group stages because that's where we belong, that's where we like playing. So all we wanted was to go score goals. We didn't want to lower the level that we scored five away, but at home we're going to score one. No, we want to get more goals than the away game. To send a strong message that when you come this side, you must be prepared. I felt like our strikers and the guys that's getting into the last, they're the ones that needed to score goals because obviously we were lacking in the league a bit. And I'm happy for Villa to get on the score sheet, scoring three, Mshishi getting in there, scoring. All the attacking players that normally gets in those areas to score because it only helps with confidence. And the more you play, the more goals you score, the more confident you get. So for me, when I'm attacking third scores, no matter who scores, I just positivity out of it because they're doing things right, they're getting in the right areas, and that's what the team needs. It was a unit. You could feel the spirit of togetherness as a team. And we went to put the ball in the center. They say we want more. And what I like about it most, it was like whoever isn't in a good position to score, you give him the ball. And it tells the story that we are one team. We have one ambition. We are here to make history. We are here to help the team and to make our supporters happy. And I was so happy because sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes we can play a beautiful football, but we don't score. And on that day, it was a pleasure to see my teammates scoring goals and and the beauty of it is difficult to explain it, but it's something that I think it tells what we are one team. It was a corner, so Mshishi, we tried to hit the ball, then he hit the post. And pure fail, so I had to score. After scoring, we're taking the ball to the center, so because we wanted more goals. So it wasn't more of a celebration, it was more of wanting more goals. I didn't feel sorry for them. In fact, we wanted more. The attitude could see from the guys that we wanted more and more. Just seeing the scoreboard ticking, going to 8, 9, 10, you know, it kept us going until we were able to get a win to put ourselves in the group stage. It was good for the team, it was good for our supporters. I was not with a lot of hope to enter. It was the first opportunity in the Champions. And after that, there were a few games that were not coming in. And that's why I had a lot of hope to enter. And well, for luck, the technician confirmed in me. No pude responder de buena forma. It's not about the records or anything. We created numerous chances, and fortunately for us, we finished those chances. And those are all things that we were working on during training in the week, because when we get in the last third, we don't need to just pass the ball. We need to take shots at goal, finish the opportunities, and that's what we did. After the game, only we heard that it was a CAF record, so that's just a bonus. But at the same time, it gives us good stride going into the Champions League group stages. Other teams, they heard about the result, and it's not just the result of Seychelles, it's the result of the team from Congo. We beat them 4 no years. The result from Ali, we beat them five. So whoever comes to Atridgeville, they would know that there's goals at Atridgeville and they need to be cautious. It means everything to me because in the history I'm there for Sundown. So whenever they talk about it, they'll know that I'm part of that. Black Lupa is a very strong side. You know that when they're playing at home, they want to be more aggressive. Their fans as well, they expect a lot from them. That itself, it brings pressure to every one of us because of we as well, we, our fans expect a lot from us. So it's going to be a very demanding game. They call it Slaughterhouse, so let's see what the Slaughterhouse will treat us. The Black Lepers game is difficult in many ways. First is the traveling. I don't think it's a game that you can do Joe back to Toronto. Never mind on that day that it will take you seven hours it will affect the next day. So it's two days and you have, the, you have the game. So we decided to do it different. Last year we managed to do it easier because we had a private flight that dropped us in Limpopo, in Polokwane, and then we drove to Toyando and we didn't feel the trip. But this year, because of current FIFA space, we went to the bus, but we broke it into two, staying in Polokwane on Monday night and training Tuesday morning and driving to Venda to Toyando on Tuesday afternoon, and then spend the night and come back. We can even say it's a four day trip because we come here in the A. But that's what you do, you sacrifice for that game because you know that it's a difficult game to play. Even other teams who are going to play Black Leopards, they will feel how difficult it is. Always a very good stadium to come to. The aura, the ambience, it's always good to play. The pitch is getting better, the pitch has improved, and there's a lot of noise when you play Black Leopards. We were fortunate because the weather was good. 
Here's Ali Misa. Oh, lovely stop from Ali Misa. Deflected goal, 20. To give Sundowns the lead. It's a tough team to play. It's like going on Champions League with the distance and the travelling. Also, they're a vibrant team. They play well on one-two combinations play. They are a ball-playing team and they scored a brilliant goal. Musonda scored a very brilliant goal that never gave Dennis a chance. I never saw him shooting at that time. I thought he's still going to control the ball, but the guy just shot and he scored a very good goal against us. If I can go back to last season, same score, the same results, you know, we won there 2-1. A team like Leopards at home with their supporters behind them, it was going to be difficult second half. One thing I have to admire about it. I said I respect the team. The team fought hard. They were coming after they scored that goal. They were keep on coming on us, but we managed to control the game and go back with the three points. And a difficult trip because we had to drive. We were so happy. The FIFA break always has got its own issues. Why? Because the players go to their respective national teams. You lose players like that. You try to get rid of niggling injuries, rest and all that. Uh, for example, we are resting level away from this game, Mabue, because we just feel that he's played too many games. So we're protecting him, we're giving him a rest for at least about 10 to 12 days so that he can recover. Players like Ali and them had issues with his paperwork and to see uh, the wife and the kid. You've got to also give space for them. So the FIFA week gives us the space to sort out issues that are outstanding, but it falls now in a different space now where we have to defend the Shell Helix Cup that we played against Kerch Chiefs. And the game against Kerch Chiefs is never a friendly game. It's a big game. We saw how we won it last year, that it was difficult, it was tough. We played against Kama Billiard and all those players, Castro and all that. Even though we didn't put our full lineups last year, but it also gave a chance to the guys who haven't been playing, but also not to weaken the team a lot. So some of the guys who are always regularly playing, they have to come and play and help us because it's about dragging rights also. It's about winning trophies. So it's a culture of winning trophies. Let's win the games, let's win the trophies. So big game, difficult game. It's going to be full. It's two big giants in one space. So let's see how it goes. One thing that makes it so exciting when we play in Sundown, it doesn't matter if it's a friendly game or what, the mentality of winning. Of course, the Spirit is high. Coming from Black Leopards win in Toyano, it's a difficult place to go. Not most of the team go there and collect maximum points. Going to Chiefs game, it's a game that we don't take it lightly. It's about pride also. This is the game, it's a breaking game. We want to give it to our supporters. Of course, we want to, to keep the cup in Cloco. To have an AGM is very, very important for us supporters. We engage, we share ideas. Number two, also, it helps because this team doesn't belong to Tswani, doesn't belong to Khaute. There is also other people from other provinces. It feels good for them to say, oh, we also belong to Mamuri Sundowns. The AGM went very well and we appreciate and we thank everyone who took part. And also we appreciate the branch members who gave the, the leadership of the branches the mandate to say, go and represent us. Please share with our president, share with our management, share with our staff this idea so that we can take our team forward. The mood, I'm telling you, is high. We are going for Nadima for the 10 times champions. And also, we are hoping that we're going to lift up the Kev trophy now. So the mood is high. Let's keep the mood high, Masandawana. Let's keep and support our coach and our team. We know we are going there. It's an international break. So for me, it's a great initiative to bring the supporters back to the stadium. You can't just go two weeks without football. It's between Kaiser Chiefs and Mamelo de Sanders, there's no friendly game. You will never know when it's your day, and you will never know who's watching you. So every day, every chance, every game that you get, you must make sure that you take that opportunity.
Michelle Ellings on our side helped us to give players who don't have more chance to play an opportunity to play. We need those kind of games so that we can measure where we are. But a little bit also unfair for the players because they don't come from a week or two of games. A game of two halves where we didn't defend well, not pressing the ball and allowing them to put the balls behind our defence. really was not good for the brand to see us being 4-0 down. But move forward from that disaster. The most important thing you need to say after time is keep the team very calm because they are six and sevens, their minds are not in the right spaces. So if you come hard and shout and all that, you are really, really creating more problems. So you need to sit with them, talk to them. Don't worry about the score. Let's see how the score came and also where were our opportunities? So that's what we did, to just to bring the confidence back, to work on reality, not on emotion. You need to go on the calm side to bring the team back, and we did. It has its own positives and negatives. For us, we find the positives being that we gave other guys a chance to play. Este, porque bueno, creo que los compañeros y el técnico me están ayudando para eso, para que yo me pueda eh, adaptar rápido al, al equipo. Este, y bueno, espero, espero seguir por, eh, poder eh, respondiendo de esta forma y que las victorias sigan llegando. Well, I'm telling you, it was the trophy that we all know we wanted to win. It was just unfortunate we couldn't take our chances against Super Sport, where we thought to reach the finals. But look, we have to move on from that and try to be positive about the matches that are still coming. It's going to be a difficult match because when they play us, they're always motivated. This time around, they've got a new coach, which I think every player will want to impress and try to give a game. So it's going to be a very difficult match for us. The aim is to make sure that we reach the final. The only way is to make sure that we tackle La Mazzolo and win the match. I'm sure after winning the match, we'll feel better and try to look for more wins. Sí, bueno, lo, 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 lo estudiamos en la semana, este, sabíamos cómo jugaban ellos, cuáles eran sus virtudes y su, sus defectos, este, pero bueno, creo que manejamos el, el control del partido todo, todo el tiempo y bueno, pudimos encontrar los goles y después se nos hizo más fácil. I was so happy to see Ali Menza get him his first goal because, look, he has been working very hard to win it. He deserves that goal. To go half time with a 1-0 lead, it gave us the edge, really, to know that if we come back, we just have to score another one and be comfortable. They created opportunities. Our movements were very good and our passing was good, our flow was good. Finding the free man in the middle of the park was good. So they struggled to deal with that. Also good to get Mauricio back into the team and he plays and scores. Y bueno, me siento muy, muy contento y, y satisfecho este, por haber logrado el objetivo primero que nada, después bueno, por haber convertido un gol siendo delantero creo que es lo que más confianza te da. Este, pero bueno, ya el partido ya pasó, ya estamos pensando en, en el partido que viene y así sucesivamente y bueno, poder lograr los, los objetivos de la temporada. Uh, Mazzulli es un game que uh, normalmente should come right because it comes immediately after the loss of the Shell Helix Cup. How much better can you get a response? of us scoring five goals. So it shows that the team was not happy and it shows that the team wanted to bring the back the integrity. And we scored five goals against the Premier League team. At least they reacted positively. And they should even have scored more goals, to be honest. It's not easy to play three competitions in one week because each competition has got its own speed of the game, it's got its own emotion. To move from cup to league, it's always going to be a difficult thing because the cup, you know, you're going to the quarterfinals or you're going to the semifinals. So you know it's one chance and everybody gives everything in that match. Then to come from 5-0 to come to the league against a team like Highland Spark is not an easy situation and they are a hard team. They're marking man-to-man, -man, difficult to play. You're going to come out with bruises out of 
that game. Por el momento no, pero bueno, sé que vienen haciendo una buena temporada. Este, bueno, ahora ya tenemos poco tiempo para recuperarnos y pensar en el partido del miércoles, que sin duda que va a ser un gran partido. Before the game, coach told us it's not going to be easy. If you can run with your feet, you need to run with your heart. When we play man to man, it's a plus for us because we have players who can take you out of your position. I think our attacking players they did that very well to take out their defending players to their positions, but we couldn't capitalize on that. I think the game took a lot from us. You know, we tried so hard. We were knocking at them. They were really strong. They were really aggressive. They went for everything. That's a game that needed heart. The guys that were on the pitch, they gave their hearts. The saying goes that it's not over until the third lady sings. We couldn't give up. We tried. That game, we tried to go through. The defense was organized, was packed. It was not easy. We can still score. And we scored at the end. And how sweet it is when you've been trying for 90 minutes, you have to score in the 90 second. It shows that the team has got a very good spirit. Fue importante cómo se dio la victoria porque lo pudimos conseguir en los últimos minutos, pero fue mérito de nosotros también para poder conseguir la victoria porque siempre quisimos ganar el partido. The Gaston touch was something unbelievable. Even when he got to Shishi, I don't even know how he saw Mauricio was free. He just flicked it one time and he scored a beautiful goal. Mauricio has got a sweet left foot. Out of 10, nine will go in with Mauricio because I'm a goalkeeper. I know how he kicks. So his balls comes with power. So there was no chance for Taylor like that one because immediately when it went off from his foot, you could see the pace. I think the team effort was amazing. It shows that when we pull in the same direction, we can get the result that we want. There are times where we felt we could have done better. There are times where when we needed to respond, we had to respond so that we have that consistency of winning. We don't want to find ourselves inconsistent whereby we're winning games, drop points, draw games. So now I think we have found the right rhythm for wins. So we'd like to keep it that way, I think. And if you keep it that way, that's a championship mentality. When you play a headlines, you must know there's kicking, there's running, there's everything in that game. It never took a lot from us, but we could feel that you are from a fight, not a game. We regenerate. We are feeling much better and looking at the game over the weekend, you know, everyone is excited. They all just want to play in a stadium where it's full, which is everyone is dream. Like soccer players, you want the stadium to be always full, week in, week out. It's a massive game. It's just another game, but different because it's a top of the lock clash, you know. If you look prior to the Highlands Park game, we played Amazulu. There was 34 degrees Celsius, it was blazing hot. And then two or three days after that, we played Highlands Park, who were physical, and they really gave us a run. And now, a couple of days later, we're playing against Chiefs, of which our supporters I expect nothing but a win from us. And I think it's a pressure that uh, we are willing to take. Chiefs, they play their own style. They're a big team, but I think our focus is not on them. Our Focus is the prize. We want to win the league. We're going to go there and give it our all. And it's not going to be an easy one because we play in a different competitions, you know. It's taking a lot from us, but that's what we love about this game. You can never complain about having a lot on your plate while your goal has always been to eat. The Kaiser Chiefs team is a different team this year. Uh, I respect them that much, so much that I can see what's happening. They're doing their business quietly, they're winning, and everybody hasn't given them a chance because of the past two years that they have not done so well. The new coach, rigid, tight, demands a lot from them. They fight, they put the body on the line. It's not about fancy play. They try and get the results as much as they can. So a difficult team, a strong team that doesn't play KF Champions League. So that's a fresh team and the only focus for them is the PSL League. That's why they're doing so well. It's a big one. I'm expecting it to be a full house. What I like about Loftus, it's wider and the supporters are closer. It feels like the supporters are just next to you. You, know, you make a mistake, they own you. We take them as any other team. Our eyes is on their prize. We want to win the league and we know how to win the league. So whether we beat them, whether we lose against them, as long as we, we go towards reaching our goal. Should they win, they're going to have to sweat for it. But yeah, uh, it's going to be a nice one. I'm looking forward to it. A difficult game, a big game. Yeah, a game that you don't want to lose 
at home in front of your supporters. But sometimes you have to accept that uh, this game was a different game. It shows that it doesn't mean when you play well, you will win the match. Or it doesn't mean when you have a big ball possession against a big team like Kansas Chiefs, you win your match. And you should not even take that to console yourself. At the end of the day, football is about results. So we played and they scored. So that's how it happened. But it's OK. We move on with 22 games to play and uh, we can come back. The month, I think, that you look back and say, oh, we have scored enough goals. And you don't score 16 goals because the team you played in Seychelles was attacking and not defending. You know, we scored 16 goals with people who were playing five at the back. Mazzulli scoring five goals against the Premier League team. It shows that we're able to play under reinforced defense. And in the modern game, if you don't deal with it, you get caught with counter-attacks. I mean, we scored, we manipulated the system in that congested areas. So it's a perfect model of how to play against a reinforced defense. You can't have the cake and eat it, and you can't be too hard on the team or on yourself. We also have to look at the positive side. We had the positive side. Spaghetti and the marshmallows.